It's Peter from Goose. How's it going? Um, here to show you my keyboard rig. Um, let's start with this guy, Nord Stage 3. Um, I use this for my piano sounds mostly. Um, and uh, it sounds like this. simple um it also has like every other sound under the sun i do uh the 2021 boy from this oh. or like this wait there we go it's great um question Yes. Why use the uh, electric piano sound on there instead of the vintage vibe? Because now you do that on a couple of songs. Okay, so there is, um, there's, all right, so the vintage vibe is kind of like more modeled after um, like a Tyne piano, which is different than a reed piano. So like a reed piano is more like a Wurlitzer, um, which I get, which I actually don't have. So I use this puppy for my like Wurlitzer sounds, which is like time to flee, like. It's like a little bit of a different characteristic. Um, not as, it's honestly a little more elementary in terms of its sound. Like I, I find, I think like the vintage vibe is a little, has a little more depth and weight to it. Um, so the worlds are can be nice for like those lighter tunes, like it lends itself to that. Um, it's just, just a different characteristic. Uh, and that's what I used for 2021, so I've got the thing over there. And then the patch over here. Um, I also really like this, uh, I've been using this a lot, this marimba sound. driving thing I could just do like you know it's like kind of I don't know different different like kind of sound than you would normally get in, uh, in this in this world you know so exploring the possibilities of this keyboard because they're kind of endless. Um, up here- Earthling or alien sound. Yeah, the Earthling or alien sound, which I have got over here. It's excellent. just had something like this something like this the double nord rig um and then summer of 2020 i got this uh owner d6 clav um which is from the 70s uh got it online from the studio i was selling it in denver they were selling a bunch of gear so i got lucky on that um they're hard to find in this condition um 
this to my ears is um, my favorite sounding clavinet I've ever played. Uh, and I've played a few, uh, like the back line, like at gigs and stuff, um, festivals, whatever, we're flying in. Um, this one is just got like a, I don't know, there's just something really nice about the action and the sound, like it's just very full. <laughs> Um, it's pretty straightforward. It actually is like uh, I could show the inside, which is very cool. Um, these are like little strings in here. Every key hits a string. Um, let me turn it back on. Uh, much like a piano, but on a much smaller scale. And there's a guitar pickup. So it's very similar to guitar. I think that's why like guitar is my first uh, first instrument, um, more so than the keys. So um, this definitely reminds me a little bit of a guitar and plays with similar functionality in jams. Um, and that it doesn't like sustain a lot like piano does, you know, which kind of like fills up a little more, like, I don't know, it has more space, fills up more space the piano. The clav kind of like is easier to sit on top. Kind of just do this. It's similar to what I was doing with the guitar or like with the wah pedal. It's very same realm. Um, down here I've got like some pedals for the clav. Uh, this is the wah pedal which is like pretty much always on. Um, goes into a tuner pedal uh, which I just put on so it doesn't feed back live. Um, that goes into a phase which I use sometimes. Phase 90, it's just classic uh, clav pedal. This is like a drive and a compressor so it's kind of got both those little extra kicks that, that I can use if I want them. Sometimes like I throw in the drive for like some really, really dirty jams or like we're just trying to make some like crunchy sounds. It's perfect for that. The compressor just kind of evens everything out. Like I said with the guitar, it's like those quieter notes become louder. The louder notes become quieter. Um, it's great. It's great for like more funky lines. Like I depends like it's it's all a mood thing like if I feel like I want to turn it on I'll turn it on but it's mostly off um, this is a delay pedal um, you know I, I use it occasionally just for like more spacey sounds on the clav kind of been like exploring the sonic capabilities of the clav a little more recently um, you know as it could be seen as like more of like a that kind of just one thing but like I'm trying to see if we could do a lot more than just one thing. So um, I really like playing it. So kind of like working on that. Um, over here, this is a Hammond C3. Uh, it's basically the same as a B3, except it has uh, wood on all sides because it was meant to be played in a church. So 1957, um, my buddy Jeff Enborg uh, sold me this organ. He found it like in somebody's garage or basement it had been hanging out there for like 30 plus years untouched so it was in great shape um shout out to joe durso dursonics in uh, connecticut he's the one who services this beautiful and annette. beast and annette his wife <laughs> um but yeah they are they're awesome people such a great resource because this is really something that you take this on the road and there's just if it breaks like you kind of you have to have somebody come out to fix it like there's the, the inside of this is insane it's just so many wires and it's it's all it's all these these little moving parts like there's nothing digital about it so um for the sound it makes which is like this it's very it's amazing that it's not digital at all and it's an instrument from the 50s you know uh, first thing is 
that this organ goes to a reverb pedal. So. Bars, four sets. Um, these black keys on the left here, uh, if anyone doesn't know on an organ, they're different presets for the sound. So the first two correspond to the draw bars, and then the rest of them actually correspond to like old presets that people used to like to use um, back in the 50s. Um, I don't really go there because they're not, I don't use them. I just kind of like go on the fly. I like to see everything I'm doing live. So, um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Um, this is the fast, slow switch. I am pretty much riding this all the time I'm over here. Um, it is controlling this Leslie speed. I don't know if you can get that on camera, like when the, see the rotor like spins up. Come around can, the other side. I can get it good from here. Yeah. So there is actually like a horn in there. That's fast, that's slow now. So it's spinning slowly the fast um, sound difference is like kind of goes from like a swirly sound to like almost like a, I don't know it's hard to describe but, uh, um, warbly yeah it's like swirly to warbly there you go thanks Jeff um, it's, yeah, I love it. I actually really like, I mean, the best part about it is like when you're kind of like going at that middle speed between the two. It's originally a Leslie like 120 body, which only had a bass speaker, but he mods them to include a top rotating, rotating speaker as well. Um, and they actually are a lot smaller than traditional Leslie's, which are kind of like, would be up to here, almost like an additional foot and a half of height. Um, it's great for the road. It's also totally refurbished and like brand new. Like he built the amp himself. Um, so it is uh, way more roadworthy than um, I think this other Leslie that I have, which came with the organ, which is from the 60s. Um, so I bring this one out. Uh, I also have a nice case for it. It's easy to move around. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been really solid. So shout out to Boss Organ for making some great chopped Leslie's. Um, moving over here, we've got the Vintage Vibe, which um, is basically, yeah, it's like a time piano. I'm running it through the amp right now, which I don't normally do, but just to like kind of show you the sound. for like recreating that sound in like a new fresh way um it's also the action is just so really like it's really fun not slow not sluggish at all play this for like hot tea and like a lot of other songs like old man's boat the jam kind of thing vibe different than the piano uh, grand piano so it's great for like more spacey vibes you know I, I also have it like hooked up to a great reverb pedal which kind of like And then I have a 
I'll take you through the pedals. But um, other than that, I mean, this is just a joy to play every single night. I love this instrument. Um, and then, yeah, on top is the Nord Lead A1. I got this synth. Uh, I was looking at other synths. I remember I actually had um, I got a profit for like a week. And uh, I was unfamiliar with synths at the time and just had no idea how it worked. It was like, honestly, it was too much. So I was like, okay, I'm really familiar with Nord. I was like, what do they got? A1, I was like, perfect, I'll get it. And it has been really great. I mean, like I can, I know how to use it like to a T now, which has just taught me a lot of, of like about synthesizing, synthesis. Um, and now we've got like a bunch of like really amazing sounds on it that we use for like, they're like kind of the keys to like a few songs, like slow ready kind of outro section, which is like, um, I just hear it and I'm like, yes, you know? You and um, everyone else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then we've got like the new like drip field sounds, um, which are originated on this thing. Um, this arpeggiator is great. It's just party time, you know? got like you know like the white lights sound um which is just like a nice sine wave um and then i often go to like kind of like these pad things um <laughs> this one kind of like self oscillates here like kind of sweep up and then it starts to sweep down really pretty um, it's great it, like creates a lot of like nice space and jams this one I like kind of use for like, Actually established a new Earthlings or Alien patch on here. <laughs> I actually like it a little more, so start and you don't have it. to turn around, Frank. Yeah, I don't have to turn around, so I'm just gonna start playing it over here. Um, and then, so down below, I've kind of got uh, this. In, uh, this is an expression pedal, which I use specifically for the volume of the synth. So if I'm playing guitar and we have like a synth patch going, like let's say like something like this, you know, I could be like, nope, you know, or bring it back or just bring it back a little bit. But having that control without like having to use my hand um, really allows me to like, you know, explore the nuances of the pad a little more. Like, so I can quickly just be like, all right, see you later, you know, and. Uh, it's very handy. Um, the other pedals I have down here are for the vintage vibe. This is the Juliana. It's basically like the Wallace Audio Julia, except it's stereo, because um, this puppy is a nice stereo um, image, so I kind of like, I keep the whole chain stereo. Um, it's kind of like a vibrato. I'll turn it up all the way so you can kind of hear it. It kind of like makes this weird warmly sound. I don't keep it that extreme, but adds a little bit of extra character to the sound of this thing. Um, and I just discovered that was like a really fun way to like, I don't know, make it sound not as perfect, which is more more interesting to me. Um, then I have uh, like the same the Strymon Strym Timeline down here, which is like the same delay pedal I have for the guitar. Um, and you know, I, you know what really sounds great on this is uh, reverse. Like, 
So we're playing like that the slower version of Tumble that we do. This is like kind of like for the intro of that. It sounds so interesting on like reverse on the keyboard. You don't hear it very often. Um, I've got the Mercury 7 reverb, which I hook up to this Chase Bliss expression pedal. Check this out. Um, it's different than like this other expression pedal because you kind of like roll this knob. And it's really handy because like I can go from like more of like a, you know, I can have like more of like a funky thing dialed in with less reverb and then quickly space it out. It's very handy to have. Otherwise, before I had this, I was just trying to like move this little knob, which wasn't working so well. And then my last pedal down here is the Iridium which is um, kind of like an amp modeler, which is what I use for the Vintage Vibe because as of now, I just don't have uh, two additional amps to bring on the road for it. So that's something I'm definitely hoping to do, I think maybe by the summer, is like bring out, um, I think I would like, I could just bring out a second one of these um, and then just get something else for guitar. Um, I've got some guys building me something that is very special, so um, that is on the way. And uh, yeah, this gear video will be irrelevant. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Um, um, but that's you know, for right now, that pedal's working great. Like it's got some really amazing tones to it. It honestly sounds like very realistic, and I don't have to real like I don't have to worry about a lot of other bleed. Um, right now, I run the guitar and clap through the same amp. Um, the Fender Deluxe Reverb, and uh, you know, it would be great to split those up too, but yeah, this is our amounting to a lot more gear. Um, I recently also played a piano, a C7 Grand, uh, at our Goosemas concert, so getting on a real piano is also a dream, and uh, we'll see if we can get there, because um, it would be really nice to just play an actual grand piano every night uh, instead of just a keyboard, so we'll see what's happening in the future, but Right now, that is a uh, keyboard world. Any questions? <laughs> the siren sound on the... Oh, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. Um, that's kind of like, actually, it's based off... Well, we kind of have that new song, Silver Rising, um, which is like based on like a werewolf. So it kind of... I mean, I actually built a patch specifically for that song, so now it's very easy to cue up. Glide is kind of like, I'll demonstrate. Um, so here's my note. Here's the note next to it. Or here's the note like, let's play a fifth. If I turn up the glide, you slowly start to get that siren noise. And what it does is it like basically creates that slow, like basically bends the notes together so it goes through every other note on the other on the way to that note and then the, the more glide the slower it goes <laughs> yeah eventually it'll, it'll get there yeah but that's basically uh it's basically glide and the siren sound yeah. So uh, thank you all so much for watching and uh, yeah, keep it Ted.